Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to your breath centered practice. In the style of yin vinyasa, we're gonna do like half flow uh, and half more yin cooling poses that are held for a longer period of time that focus more on stretching. But all the while, especially during the flow part, we're gonna focus a lot on breath and movement, which is a central part to a vinyasa flow practice but I'll have way less alignment cues than normal and more cues about inhale and exhale and keeping that consistent rhythm. And my hope is, is that by focusing more on the breath, we can get a little bit out of our mind, uh, into our body and just kind of feel and be and breathe. Um, and we'll also start with a little bit of pranayama to begin, samavritti pranayama, which is where you inhale and exhale for the same count of time. So let's go ahead, grab a comfortable seat to start and we'll get started with our practice. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started in a seated position tonight, any way that's comfortable for you. I'm gonna sit on a block, but you could certainly sit uh, onto the floor. Just make a quick adjustment, but as you're getting settled, go ahead and just find a position where you can be still for the next two or three minutes. Bring your hands onto your lap or onto your thighs with your elbows just nice and relaxed. And then with your eyes, look forward and down, maybe about two feet in front of your seat. And let your eyes be soft. Let your breath start to be soft. Just keeping your eyes open, bringing your focus, your drishti to a certain point. And together, take a nice big inhale breath, fill up as much as you can. Exhale, nice and long breath out. And as you breathe out, close your eyes. We're gonna breathe for a count of five together. So inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Five more rounds. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, last one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two. Now take a breath on your own. And then allow your breath to just get slow and easy, no focused movement to your breath. Just let it be as it is without control. Soften your jaw, soften your eyes. And give yourself a moment to feel and to be. All this movement and doing is so important to accomplish the things that we want. What's equally as crucial is balancing all that doing with moments of being. So let's be here for just a few more moments, as still as you can and as quiet as you can.
Keep your body still. Bring your hands down next to you. And sweep your arms up and overhead, breathe in. And bring your hands down to your chest center. And let your eyes relax easy. And slowly start to flutter your eyes open. Maybe seeing a little bit differently. The colors might look different. You might feel different. Let's take that centeredness and slowly go into tabletop pose. Try to move with your breath. Try to keep a nice steady rhythm. Come on to all fours. And we're gonna start out with kind of standard cow and cat. So inhale into cow. You're gonna dip your chest down, lift your tailbone and lift your eyes. And then exhale, do the opposite. Round your back, push the floor away and bring your chin towards your chest. Good. Inhale into cow, lift your eyes and tail. Exhale, round your back, spread your shoulder blades apart from each other. Inhale into cow, hug your shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale into cat, press your shoulder blades away from each other. Two more, inhale breath. Exhale breath. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Neutral as you inhale. Flip your wrists the other way as you exhale. So your fingers face you. If that's too much, have your fingers face to the side or back forward. Five rounds. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Press the floor away. Yes. Yeah, stretch your forearms. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Two. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Three. Inhale into cow. Exhale, round into cat. Last one, inhale. Exhale into cat. Hold, press the floor away. Come back to neutral and steadily shift your hands forward. Fingers face the front of your mat. Move your hands in front of your shoulders. Downward facing dog. So our flow is, our practice is about half flow, half yin. So half movement, half stillness. So we're just about to get started with the flow portion here. Then bend your knees and shorten your downward dog. So walk your hands back an inch or walk your feet forward an inch or two. And you're gonna do the same thing with cow and cat and down dog. So inhale, arch your chest up, lift your chin and lift your tailbone. Exhale, like you're rounding the cat. Good, it might feel a little weird, so you're probably doing it right. To inhale, into cow, in down dog, and then exhale, into cat. Two more, inhale, <coughs> excuse me, and exhale, round. One more, inhale, and exhale, arch your back. Good, now come into normal downward facing dog, breathe in. Stay in downward dog and actively press your heels towards the floor. One more breath in down dog. Let your whole exhale go out. Breathe out every nook and cranny until you can't breathe out any longer. And then after that, come forward into plank pose. Lower all the way to the ground. Use your knees for support. Bring your hands wide off your mat, so just your fingertips touch, lift your elbows to the ceiling. Inhale, come up towards like a cobra press, with wide arms, good. Exhale, lower your chest and then your head. So we're gonna do that in a specific order. Lift your chest, let your head stay hanging, and then lift your head at the top. Exhale, let your chest drop first, and then your head last. So it's leading with your heart. Inhale your chest. Then lift your head. Exhale, keep your head up, lower your chest. 
and then lower your head. Two more. Inhale, chest first, head last. Exhale, chest first, head last. Leading with that heart center. Inhale. And exhale, chest, then head. Good. Hands onto the mat, downward facing dog. Press yourself back. Make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. Make sure your heels go straight back so that you can't see your heels. You want them to go straight back. And then walk your feet all the way to your hands. Take your time. And at the front of your mat, halfway lift with your chest forward. Forward fold. Release your hands as close to the floor as you can. Stay here, let your head relax down. Maybe shake it out a little bit. Sometimes those little movements like this head shake can go a long way. Just to remind yourself to shake those things up, let them loose. You don't have to carry around all the weight, all the stuff, all the time. Slowly come up to standing. Sweep your arms up and overhead, inhale together. And then bring your hands at chest center. Stand tall, proud, open, and available. Bring your hands next to you, palms face forward. You're going to start off with a little flow for your breath. Inhale your arms up for half salutations. Forward fold, exhale, all the way down. Come into halfway lift. Inhale your hands on your shins and your chest forward. Forward fold, exhale to go there. Inhale all the way up to standing. Hands at chest center, exhale down. One more, inhale, sweep your arms up, look high. Forward fold, exhale, release your head and hands. Halfway lift to lengthen, inhale. Forward fold and exhale. Inhale up to standing, big sweep. Hands at chest center, exhale, good. Start to move your legs. Inhale, sweep up, get really tall. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, that's your inhale. Right foot back, exhale, lower your knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale into goal post arms and then eagle arms, right arm underneath, left arm over top. Move your hips forward and down. Inhale to lift your arms, go towards the back bend. Exhale to go backward. Hold and breathe for three. Yeah, if you can't breathe, you may have gone too far. Breath centered practice. Breath first, pose second. Good. Hands down to the ground. Step back to plank pose. Lower all the way down to the floor. Exhale. Good. Cobra. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower to the ground, downward facing dog, press back. Take an inhale and down dog, and exhale and down dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and hold. Bring your nose to your knee as well, inhale. Look forward, exhale, gently step your right foot between your hands, it's a toughie, lower your back knee. Sweep your arms up, breathe in. Eagle arms, left arm under, exhale to go there. Good, inhale, lift your elbows to shoulders. Exhale, move your hips forward and down. Inhale, lift your eyes and elbows. Exhale, go backward more. Breathe for three. Take it one breath at a time. Every exhale, you can go back more if you like. Lower your hands to the ground. Inhale, straighten your back legs, so curl your toes. Exhale, standing splits, left leg up to the ceiling. Your hands can be on your blocks or the floor. Take one more breath, spread your top toes. Forward fold, that's your exhale. Come up to standing, inhale, breath. Hands at chest center. You can feel that breath flow. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold. Let your breath help create clarity. Halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen. 
Step your left foot back, exhale, lower your knee. Inhale your arms overhead. Eagle arms, left arm under again. Inhale, elbows up to your shoulders. Exhale, go backward. Inhale to hold. Exhale to go back. One more inhale here. Drop your hands on your exhale. Step back to plank. That's all on your breath out. Now inhale and plank. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest, baby cobra or cobra. Exhale, lower down, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Left leg up, inhale, breath. Knee to nose, exhale, breath, hold. Inhale here, look forward, exhale, step, lower your knee. Inhale your arms to the sky, right arm under, exhale, eagle arms. Good, move your hips forward, inhale, elbows up. Exhale, go backward. Inhale here, exhale, go backward. One more breath in. Hands to the ground, exhale, pause. Straighten your back leg, inhale. Standing splits, exhale, right leg comes up for three. One more breath, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out, release your head. Inhale to standing, hands at chest center, good. That was two rounds, we're gonna do two more. If that was hard on your breath, then you're doing it. You're doing the work. So do your best to keep with my breath cues. And if it's getting extra hard, give yourself a moment of pause to catch your breath. Here we go together. Inhale your arms up. Forward fold, exhale down. Halfway lift to lengthen. Right foot back, exhale knee to the floor. Inhale your arms up overhead. Eagle arms, right arm under, exhale. Inhale, lift your elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, go backward. Hold, inhale. Exhale, go backward, look back. One more breath in. Hands to the ground, exhale to plank. Keep breathing out, good. Now inhale in plank. Lower to the ground, use your knees if you want. Exhale. Cobra pose, inhale, keep your thighs down. Exhale, lower your chest, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Lift your right leg to the ceiling, inhale, spread your toes. Bring your knee to your nose, exhale, hold, shoulders over your wrists, take one more breath in. Step your foot to your hands, lower your knee. Inhale, your arms up. Left arm under, eagle arms. Inhale, lift your elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, go backward a little. Good, again, inhale, go backward, exhale. Now hold and breathe in. Hands to the ground, exhale, pause. Straighten your back leg, breathe in. Standing splits, exhale, go up, up, up for three. Keep your breath flow, nice and steady. No stuck breathing or holding of your breath. And then fold. Come up to standing, inhale to rise. Hands at chest center, exhale, good. Last round, inhale, sweep up. Forward fold, stay strong and open. Halfway lift, inhale to lengthen. Left foot back, exhale, knee down. Inhale, your arms up. Left arm under, exhale. Inhale, elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, go backward with your chest. Inhale here. Go backward a little bit more with me. Breath in. Hands to the ground, exhale to plank. Keep breathing out, breathing out, then inhale and plank. Exhale, lower to the ground, everything lowers. Inhale to cobra pose, shoulders back. Exhale, lower to the ground, downward facing dog. 
Breathe here. Nice. Now left leg up. Inhale, breath. Knee to nose. Exhale. Okay, hold here. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, look forward, step forward. Lower your knee. It's a tough one. Arms up. Inhale. Right arm under. Exhale. Good. Lift your elbows to shoulder height. Lift your chest. Go backward. Inhale. Go backward. Exhale. Good. Breathe in. Hands to the ground. Exhale. Straighten your back leg. Step forward. Standing splits. That's your inhale. Breathe here. Good. One more breath. Spread your toes. Lift your top leg. And then fold straight down. Breathe out. Inhale to standing. Rise. Hands at chest center. Be still. And breathe three breaths. Breathe in. Relax your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Feel a lift through your legs. Stay easy in your mind. One more breath on your own. Nice guys, let's build off of that. Bring your feet to touch, so your big toes touch. Your heels are about an inch apart. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Crowd favorite. <laughs> this is tough on your legs, and it's not just the pose itself that's tough. It's the duration, wink, wink. Because we're gonna be here for 10 more breaths. And rather than focusing on the sensations in your body, I invite you to focus on the number of breaths here and allow each number to be equal to the next. Equal in terms of the weight, the emotional weight or how hard it is. You've got six more breaths now. Five. Sit low, really low, four. Good, inhale, exhale out, three more, inhale, exhale, keep your arms high, inhale, stay, exhale, one last breath, it's just as good as number seven, exhale and forward fold, nice, halfway lift to lengthen your back, step both feet into a plank pose, Lower your right knee to the floor. Roll to your right for side plank. Kickstand your bottom foot, your right knee. Yeah, kickstand your right foot behind you. Lift your top leg to the ceiling. Reach your top arm out in front of you and hold that. You're gonna feel this in your left outer hip, your left glute muscles. And that's good. Now lift your eyes to the ceiling. Hug your core muscles in towards each other for three. Good for two. Hands to the ground, three-legged down dog. Right leg comes up. Bend your top knee, turn your hips to face the right wall. And press into both hands evenly. Inhale your right leg to be straight. Bring your right knee to your right arm. So about your tricep height, about that height. Inhale your right leg back. Do that again, right knee, right arm. You can always lower your left knee for support. Inhale up and back, let's do it again. Cause it's so fun, right knee to right tricep. Hold that, this is gonna be a toughie. Lower your hips so that your right knee goes to your right wrist. And then one time, lift your hips so that your knee goes to your tricep. Step your right foot between your hands. Yeah, open up, warrior two. It's a short class, so it's a short time with these really challenging poses. It'll pass really quickly. Let's be as present as we can for them. Look forward with your eyes. And let's give this part of our practice every bit of strength and power that we have. Because giving that to your practice is giving it to yourself. Turn your right palm up and reverse your warrior back. Follow your top hand with your eyes. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower both hands down to the ground so you're in a lunge position. And then come up to crescent lunge, both hands up to the ceiling. 
If you're extra wobbly, separate your feet wider apart. Nice, bring your hands to chest center. Lean over your front leg, zip up your back leg. Take another breath here, inhale. Prayer twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, push your hands together and twist more. Now, if you know split arms, you can do that. Left hand to the ground, right arm to the sky. Breathe two times. Inhale, back leg straight. Exhale to rotate. Keep your breath long. Inhale. Stay. Exhale. Both hands down to the ground. Hold. Breathe in. Twisted triangle. So exhale, shorten your stance and ground your back foot to the floor. So your front heel is to the right and your left foot is more to the left. Left hand outside your right foot for the deepest twist or inside your foot. And then twist up and open to the right. So your left hand down is, is down. Now inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press your hips back and rotate to the ceiling. Two more times. Inhale, keep your long spine. Exhale, keep your hips going back and twist. One more breath in. Exhale to twist, and then both hands down to the ground. Step forward to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Come to standing, inhale breath. And then hands down to chest center. Beautiful work. We got another side. Lift your arms up, breathe in. Utkatasana, exhale. Big toes touch. Keep your hips going back and down so you can see your toes and see your toes not neutrally without judgment. Neutral, neutral. Eight, yeah, I didn't forget about your breath. Inhale, keep your arms up. Exhale, sit really low. Seven, long breaths here. Six. Five, four, lift your arms, they might be falling, yep, keep your shoulders strong. Two more breaths, inhale here, hug your thighs towards each other, that's it, stay, stay, one more breath in, and fold, exhale out, all that strength, halfway lift, inhale. Step back into plank pose. You might be getting warm and sweaty at this point. Drop your left knee, roll to your left side plank with your left leg like a kickstand. Now lift your right leg to hip height, spread your toes, and reach your top arm forward over your right ear with your palm facing to the ground. Press away from the floor. Lift your right leg up away from the ground, three. Good, strengthen your hips for two. And then hands to the ground. Left leg comes up for one-legged downward dog, three-legged, bend your top knee, turn your hips to the side. Good, now press into both hands evenly as you stretch your left leg up and back. This is the hard core and shoulder action but try to stay a little bit longer than you think you can. So straighten your left leg, inhale. Knee the left tricep, exhale. That's one, inhale up and back. Knee the left tricep, that's two. Inhale up and back. It's a tricky one, knee the left tricep, hold. Now lower your hips so that your knee goes to your wrist. And then use your core to pull your knee back up to your arm and then step your foot between your hands. Woohoo! Come up to warrior two. In that uncomfort or that discomfort zone, there's room for growth. Areas that we can grow and push past. Doesn't mean you have to be uncomfortable to grow, but there's certainly a different type of lesson there for us. Then lower your hips, reverse your warrior back. Breathe for three. Stretch through your side body. 
and then drop both hands down to the ground. Good. Turn all 10 toes forward so you're in a lunge. You may have to widen your feet. Come up to crescent lunge. Lower your hips. I am sweating here. My hair is sticking to me. Can't see. <laughs> Bring your hands at chest center. Lean forward. Twist to the left. Nice, you guys. Now inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, rotate. And then option to split your arms, right hand to the block or floor, left arm to the ceiling. Your hips might want to lift up, keep them low. Three, two, nice. And then drop both hands down to the ground, twisted triangle. So step your back foot up about six inches and ground it so your right toes are turned out on like a 45 angle. Halfway lift with your back. If that's hard for your hands to touch, bring your right hand to a block. Right hand to the block, outside your foot, left arm to the sky. Inhale, press your chest into the front of your mat. Exhale, press your hips to the back of your mat, like you're going in two opposite directions. Now three breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to rotate. Inhale, keep the length. Exhale, keep the twist or go deeper. Take one more breath. Stay on the exhale. Drop both hands down. Step forward to the front of your mat. Good, half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. And lift your arms all the way up to standing. Bring your hands to chest center. One more standing pose for strength. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Turn to face the left side of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Okay. Now you're going to turn your heels in and toes wide. So your stance is going to have to probably be less wide. Goddess pose. Here we go. Okay, so your knees are in the direction of your toes. Don't let them cave in. If that's the case, turn your toes in more. Okay, now that you're there, breathe in. Exhale, go down just a quarter of an inch lower than you think you can. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, goal post arms. Nice. Now hold here or you can bring the thumbs and your pointer fingers to touch on each hand. Gayan mudra, which is a mudra or a gesture of your hands that in this case is symbolizing like self-knowledge a knowingness, a connection to yourself. So as we hold, I know we're holding, <laughs> it's like a knowledge of your own power, knowledge of your own possibility, your ability to stay, to not come out quickly because of reaction or because it's hard or harder than you wanted to, wanted to do, but your knowledge of your own power, strength, hold for four, yep, <laughs> you can do that. Hold for three. My legs are shaking too. Hold for two. Now you've got a one, stay here. And then stand on up. Ooh, turn your toes in. <sighs> nice, you guys. We're gonna change gears, get down to the floor and slow down a bit. So take your feet wide, extra wide. Come into frog pose. So you're gonna lower one knee down at a time. Bring your forearms out in front of you. And then look over each shoulder and make sure that your ankle is behind each knee. And then you want your hips at knee height. So you don't wanna to be too far forward and splattered down. And it's not really a child's pose either. So it's somewhere in the middle. And you're here for one more minute. You're getting into your inner hip stretch. If you like, you can take a block if it's not too far from you <laughs> and put it right under your chest and then let your head fall to your hands. And that way your shoulders don't have to do a lot of work. You can just let your body be as you hold this deep stretch. Good, 30 more seconds. I'll be silent and you hold in the stillness.
nice job, you guys. So you're gonna start to come out of this by sliding forward to your stomach. I might go off frame, but then slide your feet around. No rush, no rush. And come up into a seated position facing the front of your mat with your legs straight out. Good. I'll bend your left knee, bring your right foot to the corner of your mat and bring the back of your right hand inside of your leg to the block or to the floor. Good, we're gonna do Janu Shirshasana with a twist. You can also hold your foot if that's possible. Okay. Lift your left arm up and turn to the left. And then exhale, reach, and you're gonna stretch your side body, all these good muscles in your left side here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate, good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe you reach towards your foot a little bit more while keeping the rotation through your upper body. Let's take two more breaths together. Breathe in. Exhale out. One more in breath. Exhale and stay. And then slowly come all the way up. Good. Bring your left hand back behind you. You're gonna lift your hips, press into your right foot and left shin, and do this counter stretch. It's called a rock star. It's not an actual yoga pose, but just something that's been made by the community as a good counter stretch to that fold. One more breath in, and then release, exhale. Good. Switch your legs, I'm gonna turn and face you. Right knee is bent, left foot goes towards the left corner of your mat. Bring the back of your left hand to the ground or block, and then right arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach over to your foot. So you try to get your left elbow inside of your leg as much as you can. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, reach towards your foot and rotate. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more in. Rotate when you breathe out. And then use your inhale to come all the way up slow. Nice. Okay, your rock star counter stretch. Right hand back behind you. Left arm up to the sky. Press into your shin and your foot. And rather than sideways, go backwards. So press your chest to the sky. Three. One more inhale, and then lower your hips down. Exhale, nice you guys. Vada Konasana, bring the soles of your feet to touch. And then take your feet away from you so that you have like a diamond shape with your legs. Breathe in, lengthen your back, and breathe out, fold down just a little bit, maybe like 50% of your depth and breathe in again, and go down to like 60%, just a little bit. Get where we're going, inhale, another 10%. The breathe in, another 10%, about 80%. You should start to feel this stretch for you. Inhale, exhale to lower. Good, you guys, one more breath. In this transition, exhale to your lowest, and then you're gonna hold there for 60 seconds. So you want your feet placed where your head would lower to. So that doesn't mean you actually have to touch your feet with your head, but if your head was going to drop, make sure the arches of your feet would be there to catch it. In the next 40 seconds of this pose, be as still as you can, even though your body might be taken by gravity and go a little bit lower. Just relax all your muscles possible. Give up what you must. So your body becomes more light and your mind becomes more clear.
two more breaths. Nice, you guys. Come all the way back up. Use your hands to walk you. And then come on to your back. From your back, you're gonna come into a shoulder stand. So kick your legs overhead. If you don't wanna do this, I'll show you another option in just a moment. I'm sorry, rather than shoulder stand, come into plow first, so your feet go behind you. If you have a hair tie that makes your head go left or right, take your hair tie out and then come into the pose. Shoulder stand, you can lift your legs straight up, trying to make your body as straight as a candlestick. Good, hold there and plow or shoulder stand. If you don't want to do one of those two options, you can place some pillows or block underneath your sacrum. Let your legs stay lifted to the ceiling for Viparita Karani. I know you'll get that same blood flow, that inverted circulation through your legs to reset your body. One more minute here in your upside down pose. And harness your power and put it into being still. You might make little adjustments along the way and move. Go ahead and do that, of course. But by being still, I mean decreasing the fidgeting the mind chatter. Accessing that power over the fidgets of your body help to access the power over the fidgets of your thoughts. So there is more focus, more clarity, more awareness of self. Four more breaths. If you're in shoulder stand, bring your feet behind you for plow. And then from there, from your shoulders, lower your hands to the ground, slowly come out to happy baby. If you're on a block, go ahead and move that, and come out to happy baby. Beautiful guys, just rock a little bit side to side. And take one more breath here. And then come on to your back for your final rest in Shavasana. And I recommend just making your body as relaxed as you can. You can put blocks underneath your knees that helps your low back to rest or take your hair tie out. Just let your legs go to the ground and your palms to face up. And as you're resting on your back in Shavasana, I'm gonna do what I normally do in my in-person classes and read a passage from one of my favorite texts, Journey to the Heart, and this is a passage from today, June 29th. Stay clear. Sometimes we don't tell other people what we're feeling, and sometimes we don't tell ourselves. We may think that we're being polite and appropriate by not saying what we feel. We may think that most thoughts and emotions are so minor it would be a waste of time to acknowledge and express each and every one of them. It's true that some aren't worth mentioning, but many are. We need to take the time to feel and release the thoughts and beliefs 
that are important to us? Is a relationship blocked? Are we feeling something we're unable to discuss? The feeling won't disappear. The energy of the expressed feeling will be present, blocking our connection until we take the time to get it out. And our bodies and emotions will react as well. So what are you feeling? No, what are you really feeling? Ask yourself as often as you need to. And then take the time to feel and release the emotion, thought, or belief. You've connected to yourself and you're connected to the world around you. Now keep your connections clear. Take another breath in Shavasana. And come all the way up to seated. With your eyes closed. And bring your hands down next to you. And inhale, sweep your arms up like you're gathering in all the things all the feelings and pull them down to your chest center, connecting right to them. Let's do that two more times. Inhale your arms out and up overhead. Hands at chest center, exhale, breathe slowly out. One more breath, a little slower. Inhale your arms out and up overhead. Take your time and pull it all down to chest center and breathe there. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. Breathe in that connection to yourself and breathe out that connection to yourself. Wonderful job, you guys. Great work today. You can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me.